And now, for some final thoughts on where we came from. We only recently figured out the origin of our own moon. And we have some idea of how the Sun and Earth formed. But that's only because modern telescopes empower us to see other stars and planets freshly hatched within gas clouds across the galaxy. As for the origin of life itself, the transition from inanimate molecules to what any of us would call life remains one of the great frontiers of biology. Since life on Earth is, so far, the only known example of life in the universe, our dilemma may simply be that we have no other examples to compare us with. If we did, then the life-non-life transition might look downright simple to us. No doubt the most challenging class of questions in science is the origin of things. So much of what we understand comes from knowing what something is and what that something used to be, which allows us to figure out, or at least imagine, what happened in between. Okay, so where did it all come from? We're quite happy with our Big Bang description of cosmic origins, but actually, the Big Bang accounts for what happened only after the beginning. The beginning itself, and especially what happened before, remains the biggest mystery of all. Why? Because our universe is the only known example of a universe in the universe. And that is the cosmic perspective.